Hey everyone, it's Matt from Flow Guys, and today we have some exciting news. We are going to be diving into version two of the Flow Guys Toolkit app for Webflow. Now, you may have heard that Webflow has recently launched version two of their app marketplace, and this provides enhanced API capabilities way beyond what was previously possible. They have introduced the Designer API, which means it's now possible to mesh external app functionality seamlessly into the Webflow Designer experience. And this really unlocks the possibilities of what can be done in Webflow. We're proud to be a launch partner for this Webflow Marketplace update. So a big shout out to the team at Webflow for all their support in helping us get this done. We've launched our new version of the toolkit initially with two tools, but we're already working on lots more features for the future. So stay tuned as we roll them out, we'll let you know. But today I'll be introducing the new version of the Flow Guys reorder tool. Now you might be familiar with our reorder tool from the original Webflow Marketplace. Uh, this tool lets you drag and drop to reorder collection items, which is a feature that's not available natively in Webflow. So for all you Webflow power users, this is a game changer for handling those big collections. So without further ado, let's show you step-by-step step how the new toolkit works. And by the end of this video, you'll be a pro at reordering your Webflow collection items using the Flow Guys Toolkit app. Let's get into it. So the first thing you'll need to do is install the app to your workspace. To do that, just go to webflow.com forward slash apps and you will find a list of all the available apps. Scroll down and you will find the Flow Guys Toolkit. Click on that and then click the Add to Site button and you will be prompted to log in to Webflow if you're not already logged in. And then you will be taken to the authorization screen where here you can specify the workspaces or sites within a workspace that you would like the Flow Guys Toolkit app to have access to. So for this demo, we are just going to choose the Flow Guys site and we click authorize app. Now, if you're already an existing Toolkit user, you'll be taken straight into the dashboard uh, or prompted to log in. If not, there'll be a couple more onboarding steps to go through um, just to create your Toolkit account. But once that's done, you'll be taken to this dashboard. So if you've used the tool before, this will look exactly the same. So you can actually use the reorder tool from within the web app, just as before by choosing the site choosing a collection, selecting the sort order field within that collection that you want to sort on, and then you have your drag and drop interface where you can change the order of those items and then sync the changes back to the Webflow CMS. Now, what's new in this latest version is that we can now do this within the Webflow designer itself. So. I'm in my Webflow workspace and I'm going to open up the designer for the Flow Guys site. And you will notice on the left hand side here, you will notice a new icon, a little puzzle piece. And if you hover over it, it says apps. If you click on that, you will then see all the apps that you've installed for this site or for the workspace that this site is within uh, available to launch. So if I click the launch button here, I now get this little pop-up that hovers over the designer and lets me access the reorder tool directly within here. So I click on reorder and it's going to prompt me to log in to my toolkit account because then it gives me the authorization to work with the CMS items. So I'm just going to log in. So this is the same login that you'll be using for your toolkit account or if you've just created a toolkit account it's the same email and password so it's different to your webflow login you may have may well have used the same password um, but this is your toolkit credentials here so once I log in I can now see a very similar interface to the web app where I can choose the site and it's already pre-selected this current site for me because it knows that I'm designing in this current site. Choose a collection, choose my order field just as before. And if you're not sure what this is, basically this is a, a number field within the collection that you use for the sort order. So it can be 
any if you've got lots of number fields they'll all be listed in here but hopefully you've created one called sort order if not just go into the cms create one to use it just needs to be a number field and then you can select that and it will list all of your cms items in a list and just like the web version allow you to drag and drop those and then sync those changes back to the cms so i will just click sync so you can see how that works so that will just go through those and once it's complete it will um pop up a little thing there and it actually says a little note in there to say that if you are on a page that's showing the list of those items so if i go down this page if i just close that come back down here and i can see these faq items here these will still be in the previous order because the changes won't be reflected until you refresh the page um, but if i refresh the page here now you will see the latest order and also if you go into the cms you will see the latest order in there as well so you can freely open and close the little app window um, once you've logged in it's going to remember your login status so i've opened it again i'm already logged in so i can go straight back into reorder choose my collection choose my sort order and carry on reordering so that's how it works um, hopefully you like it we'd love to get your feedback on it and as i said we've got plans for lots more tools to add to the toolkit we already have another one in there which i'll go into in another video um, but if you've got any ideas let us know we'd love to hear your feedback so leave your feedback in the comments <laughs>